This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at empirical and molecular formula. We'll start by looking at the definitions. The molecular formula is the actual number of atoms in a compound. The empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Let's look at an example. The molecular formula for butane is C4H10. This is the actual number of atoms in the compound. There are 4 carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. The empirical formula for butane is C2H5, which is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in the compound. Next, we'll determine the molecular formula given the empirical formula and the molar mass. A compound has the empirical formula CH2O and a molar mass of 180.18 grams per mole. Determine its molecular formula. The first step is to add up the relative atomic masses of all the atoms in the empirical formula. In this empirical formula, there's one carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. So we add up the relative atomic mass of one carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom, which gives us 30.03. The next step is to divide the molar mass of the compound by the sum of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the empirical formula. So that's 180.18 divided by 30.03, which gives us 6. The final step is to multiply all the atoms in the empirical formula by the number that we've just calculated. This gives us a molecular formula of C6H12O6, which is glucose. 